Shabbat Shalom, Remnant family. In reading this week's scripture portion for my field example, I noted a common theme in the verses, and that common theme is summed up by 11.15 where Yeshua says to his disciples, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad for your sakes that I was not there so that you may believe. Nevertheless, let's go to him. Thinking of the examples in my own life, moments where I saw him heal someone or touch their life in a positive way, uh, moments I was afraid and he comforted me, moments where I put my trust in him and he was faithful. These moments, moments like this, are small examples. And they're testaments to the bigger truth. Throughout these verses, Messiah keeps saying, so that you may believe. Yeshua is showing his followers and the people around him here something. He's showing them an example. And why do they need this example? To believe in him, to believe that he is the resurrection and the life. People often, even when they have faith, some level of faith, some level of belief, like Martha here when she says, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah. I know that my brother will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Uh, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Even now I know that whatever you ask of Elohim, he will do. These are statements of faith and belief. But she still seemed to need this example in her life of Messiah's resurrection power, and people around her seemed to need that. And I was thinking, it really is a human thing to need examples in our own life so that our belief is strengthened, so that our faith is strengthened. And I was thinking, well, we may not always have amazing stories like this to tell, where we've been dead or someone we know has been dead for four days and then raised again. We do have those moments where he meets us heart to heart, or maybe he heals us, or answers a prayer to heal someone we know, or uh, he touches their lives or our lives. Um, we're afraid, we reach out to him, he comforts us, he protects us, or uh, we, we put our faith in him and do something that he's asked us to do. Different things. We have each our own unique testimonies, whether there's something that we feel we can share or not, if it's something amazing or something small that maybe nobody else would really see the same way as we do because it was our heart to his heart and it was meant just for us. These small examples are testaments to the bigger truth. When you believe and trust Yeshua with your life, he is faithful in that. You probably have many experiences you can think back on that testify to that truth. If he is faithful in life, then he will be faithful to resurrect. So when I was thinking about these verses, and I was thinking, what example could be any better than what's already in the verses about Lazarus dying and being resurrected by Yeshua? It occurred to me that the examples that could get any better are the ones in your own life that are small testaments or large testaments to him as the Messiah, as the resurrection and the life, small testaments of the bigger truth. So what I really wanted to do in this field example was to encourage you to think about your own experiences, your own um, testimonies, whether there's things that are huge or things that are small, tiny moments, large moments. These are the things that strengthen your belief in Him as the resurrection and the life, as Messiah. And these are the things that help you to grow in your relationship with Him.